I was speaking to a lovely lady recently, and um, well, she's been facing some rather difficult things, but she was filled with hope. The hope wasn't in her marriage, because yeah, you guessed it, the marriage was going south, and she was really struggling in the married relationship. Her hope wasn't in her home, because that was in the process of being taken away from her because of the marital difficulties. The hope that she had wasn't in her children, because her children had taken a different side. Her hope wasn't in her money or her ability to overcome the situation because those things were looking bleak. But in these moments of trial and difficulty and betrayal, she was experiencing something that she had never tasted before. This is what she said. I think I have more hope now than ever before. And so I ask her, why? Why is this the case? Why is this the reality when everything else seems to be crumbled? And she said this, the empty tomb. The empty tomb means hope is alive. You know, as a nation, we're going through some strange things at the moment. And it can have a wonderfully clarifying and focusing effect in our lives if we will let it. We will realize that so many of the things that we have put our hope and our trust in are fragile and can be taken away from us in a moment. In fact, anything that we have that we put our tro uh, trust and hope in in this world can be taken from us in a second. And it's in those moments when we feel those things that we have trusted and depended upon being pulled away from us or us giving them away through our own poor and selfish decisions that we realize the value and the virtue that Jesus' resurrection hope being made alive in him cannot be touched by anything in this world.